when Napoleon lay at Boulogne for a year with his flat bottom boats and his grand army, he was told by someone, there are bitter weeds in England. We have before us an ordeal of the most grievous kind. We have before us many, many long months of struggle and of suffering. You ask what is our policy? I will say it is to wage war by sea, land and air, with all our might, with all the strength that God can give us. To wage war against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark and lamentable catalogue of human crime. That is our policy. You ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word, victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory however long and hard the road may be. For without victory there is no survival. Let that be realized. No survival for the British Empire. No survival for all that the British Empire stood for. No survival for the urge and impulse of the ages that mankind will move forward towards its goal. But I take up my task with buoyancy and hope. I feel sure that our cause will not be suffered to fail among men. At this time, I feel entitled to claim the aid of I say, come then, let us go forward together. Upon it depends our own British life, and the long continuity of our institutions and our own. The whole fury and might of the enemy must very soon be turned on us. Hitler knows that he will have to break us in this island or lose the war. If we can stand up to him, all Europe may be and the life of the world may move forward into broad, sunlit upland. But if we fail, then the whole world, including the United States, including all that we have known and cared for, will sink into the abyss of a new dark age. Let us, therefore, brace ourselves to our duty. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. But if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour.